Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker delivered this, his fifth State of the Commonwealth address. He focused on education, transportation, health care, and climate change. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live with more. Caroline. Well, Shannon and Mike, the governor laid out one very ambitious goal tonight when it comes to climate change. He said he's committing the Commonwealth to a goal of net zero greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2050. The last year we made real progress. A half hour speech filled with promises of better understanding and additional funding. Education was a big focus of the governor's address Tuesday night, specifically reform that could affect school districts across the Commonwealth. That reform coming in the form of an additional $1.5 billion in new spending on the state's K-12 system. Governor Baker signed a bill authorizing that funding last fall. But let's remember, these funds are just the foundation. Dollars are important, especially in the communities that will benefit most from this infusion of resources. But they're not the only thing that has to change. The governor vows other changes will be made in the health care system. Baker says Massachusetts needs to align its health care policies with the current nature of illness. At its most fundamental level, our proposal is about nudging caregivers and health plans to put more resources into time on primary care and behavioral health services while limiting the overall growth in health care spending. Another focus of the governor's address on Tuesday night was transportation as he vowed additional funding for the MBTA. Our 2021 budget proposal will include an increase of $135 million in operating funds for the T. This, yeah. This will ensure that the T has the resources it needs to implement the recommendations of its safety review panel and continue to accelerate service improvements. And the Massachusetts Democratic Party responded to the governor's address tonight, saying in part, quote, Charlie Baker and Karen Polito continue to nibble around the edges and refuse to really take on the critical issues we face. This victory lap tonight felt like it was in slow motion. Now we hope to learn more about the budget come tomorrow when the governor unveils his plan. In the meantime, a watch cr watchdog group called the Massachusetts Taxpayers Association tells Eyewitness News that it estimates the state could face a nearly $900 million budget shortfall for the upcoming fiscal year. Reporting live tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.